everyone, it's Adria. Welcome back. It is not the 14th yet, so I have another Valentine's Day themed video. If you thought the I Heart You pop-up card we made last time was cool, you're going to love the magic or never-ending card we'll be making today. It is extremely easy to make, so let's just get into the video. The things you'll need are construction paper, you can either use two colors or just one, ruler, pencil, scissors, scoring tool like an empty mechanical pencil or dotting tool, and glue or double-sided tape. I'll be using a glue stick. Let's begin! Start by measuring and cutting out four 15 by 7.5 centimeters rectangles of paper. If you are using two colors of paper, cut two from each color to make four. Put three rectangles aside and leave one to work on. Place the rectangle in a standing vertical position and with your ruler mark and score a horizontal line 3.75 cm away from the top edge and 3.75 cm away from the bottom edge. Then fold and crease both of these lines. It's best if you crease them forward and backward. It should look something like this. Repeat to the other three rectangles. Now take a rectangle and place it vertically once more. With your ruler, mark your vertical line at 3.75 centimeters, running from the top edge to the top crease mark, and at the bottom, running from the bottom edge to the bottom crease mark. It should look something like this. Repeat on the other rectangle of the same color. Once that's done, place both the rectangles vertically next to each other. Make sure they are aligned and leave a tiny gap in between them. This separation should be a small one, but it still must be there, or else it'll be difficult to open the latter. Add glue or double-sided tape on the top of two outer squares. Take another rectangle which now should be of a different color and glue it horizontally on top of the two vertical ones. It should be aligned with the top edge. Press down firmly to make sure it's well secured and repeat at the bottom. Add glue or double sided tape on the bottom two outer squares. Take the last rectangle and glue it horizontally on top. It should be aligned with the bottom edge. This way there's a small gap between these two rectangles as well. Press down firmly to make sure it's well secured and it should look something like this. At this point you can go back and erase the undesired pencil marks. Now open the letter and crease down on the folds. If there's any excess paper sticking out anywhere, use your scissors to trim it off. Open the letter again and crease down on the folds once more. If the paper happens to overlap, use your scissors to trim a bit of the edge off so it doesn't overlap anymore. Continue opening the letter, making sure to crease the folds and checking that no excess paper sticks out and the paper doesn't overlap. Meanwhile, fixing it if it does. At the end, the letter must open without any problem. I think this is a good size, but if you want to make it bigger, you can use 20 by 10 cm rectangles, mark the horizontal line 5 cm away from the top and bottom edge, and finally mark the last vertical lines at 5 cm to make the outer squares. Repeat the process as normal. And you're done! Write your message and decorate to your heart's desire, and it's sure to make an awesome letter. I hope you liked this idea, if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. 
I'll be leaving a link to my Valentine's Day DIY playlist in the description box below in case you're interested. If you recreate this and happen to post anything about it on social media, feel free to tag me or use the hashtag DIY Sudra. I'd love to see your creations, especially if you put your own twist to them. It'd make me so happy to see them. Unfortunately, that is it for today. Thank you so, so much for watching. Always feel free and welcome to leave me any comments or suggestions on what you would like to see on my next video. And as always, if you enjoy watching and like what I do, please take a moment to subscribe. It is greatly appreciated. Stay tuned and until next time, bye.